This is a case of a patient with severe negative dysphotopsia with uh, uneventful fecal emulsification in the bag, acrylic lens. We see the lens is at the 3 and 9 position here, sitting temporally with nice capsule overlap. We've injected some dispersive viscoelastic in the anterior chamber. I like using a micro grasper to grab the anterior capsular rexus edge, place the Sinsky underneath it, and basically then slide the Sinsky around the optic here to free up the anterior capsule off the anterior optic edge. And we do this for basically 260 degrees around the optic. You can see pushing down on the optic helps it to uh, place it um, away from the capsular rexus and essentially then using the Sinsky to uh, basically manually separate. Now the Sinsky is behind the optic placing the um, optic now pushing it forward through the anterior capsule or excess here and this is a basically now in a reverse optic capture position uh, we're not going to leave it like this because the nasal area is still exposed as you see here um, with the haptic optic junction still anterior to the anterior capsule so this necessitates us to uh, rotate the lens here we're going to first do some visco dissection injecting now posterior to the optic into the capsular equator and fornices to free up uh, the entire capsular bag we do this for 360 degrees around uh, here we're going superiorly and inferior first. And what's most important is to inject, uh, particularly in the area around the haptics. We now use a Sinsky. In this case, the haptic is freed up quite well. This patient was actually about two plus years post-op before she did, had a minimum capsular bag reaction. Rotating the lens here in a clockwise fashion. Be very careful to watch for that terminal bulb to ensure it has not been trapped within fibrotic tissue in the capsular equator. It isn't in this case and therefore can be easily rotated and, and moved. We're going to place the lens in the 6 and 9 position um, first, and then we will reverse optic capture uh, the optic through the capsular rexus. Fortunately, in this case, the rexus is nicely centered and uh, small, smaller than the optic, in this case about 5 millimeters, which is really perfect for a reverse optic capture technique. And here we see the optic now uh, in position. The haptics, of course, remain in the capsular bag. And then we'll remove viscoelastic uh, carefully using a 27-gauge cannula, irrigating and then aspirating manually here to remove and ensure that the viscoelastic material, which was cohesive in this case, is removed from the uh, capsular bag. We find cohesive to be the ideal agent to visco expand the capsular bag as well as easy to remove as well. It's important to ensure, however, that the optic still remains in the reverse optic capture position. We've had excellent success with, with the complete resolution of negative dysphotopsy symptoms with this technique of reverse optic capture. And in the average eye, the uh, IOL certainly sits in a very good position away from the iris and in a stable position held by the capsular bag with minimum refractive difference.